the rest of the ministry. I'd like to take this opportunity to nominate for second last year Daniel in the organization. Daniel is uh, quite an interesting young man that I've grown to know and love and respect. He has a great deal of enthusiasm. He is a political activist. He is a lover of the Constitution. He is a genuine constitutional conservative and understands the proper balance between state and federal powers. And so with that being said, I would like to nominate Daniel in the organization. Thank you. Hello, everyone. second vice chair for the Reform Republican Party. My name is Daniel Incarnation. It is a long name. It's the one that the good Lord blessed me with, though, but I was asked to spell it when I came up here, so let me do that for you. It's Daniel like it, not Lions did it, so I don't think I need to spell that, but Incarnation is E-N-C-A-R-N-A-C-I-O-N. And I'd like to thank uh, Sheriff Ray Nash for his fine nomination and thank him for his service to Dorchester County and for the state of South Carolina. Job as sheriff. As your second vice chair, I want to be the voice of grassroots constitutional conservatives who support issues like protecting the life of the unborn from conception without without with, without compromise on that. We must protect the life of the unborn. We need to eliminate the state income tax. We need to cut spending. Really? Cut spending. By using the Tenth Amendment if we have to. Whatever we can do to resist this obvious We need to promote school choice and protect our right to keep and bear arms. You see, I support this party's platform. It's a great platform. I support all of it. And as your second vice chair, I will go out there and promote candidates and promote for this party, that platform, all the time. If you honor me with your vote, I will make sure to be your voice, the voice of grassroots reformers, like the 912ers, the Tea Partiers, the Fair Taxers, all Republicans, all of you, because you are the lifeblood of this party. So let's go out there, let's win this Tuesday, and we'll let Mark Sanders.